So we are now in uh, Cairo, and we can see uh, about 200 participants taking part over here. This is a 30-acre park, which is uh, near the old city of Cairo. As we know, Egypt is full of grand monuments, and this is the Al-Azhar Park. And it uh, has a contemporary design, which uh, draws from Islamic gardens. Uh, the spine is a formal axis with a water channel leading in the direction of a small lake. And uh, it has several alleyways as well, and pointing towards the Cairo Citadel, as we can see in the distance there, the Cairo Citadel. So this park, it was created, in fact, by the Historic Cities Support Program of the Aga Khan Trust for Culture, and it has uh, since been one of the significant tourist attractions in uh, Cairo. So one more iconic place, as we can see, associated now with yoga. Yes, and uh, this uh, is the old city of uh, Cairo, and this Al-Azhar Park was opened to the public in 2005. These gardens here in Al-Azhar represent the historic Islamic gardens with a blend of modern and traditional elements. And as you can see on your screens, the central terraced uh, formal gardens, the emphatic use of fountains, mamluk multicolored stonework, sunken gardens, intersecting waterways and bold Islamic geometry are all integrated, intersecting in a contemporary site design. The site uh, is supported uh, by a reservoir constructed for the project. The structures in the park seek to preserve tradition with historical legacy and this legacy can be seen in a variety of styles taken from different periods and different regions. So there are Fatimi the archways which are used in the construction of the park. Then there are Persian and Timurid elements reflected in the water channels and fountains here. Indeed, and uh, the great mosque of Muhammad Ali is situated in the citadel of Cairo. And it was uh, commissioned by Muhammad Ali Pasha between 1830 and 1848. We are having some signal problems, but uh, otherwise uh, we are at the Al- Yoga is that the relaxation is not limited to the duration when you are practicing yoga. The effect goes much beyond that when you have started doing the uh, yoga asana. So some of the benefits are short term, some are medium term and some are long term benefits of regular practice of yoga. Hmm. So, sir, across countries and borders, what more can governments do, corporates do, to, uh, you know, sp spread the message of yoga, inculcate them in their daily lifestyle? You know, can we have, uh, can we expect uh, companies to have yoga rooms or yoga breaks? It is a very good idea and it does not involve too much of expenditure. So, the important thing is to be committed to yoga throughout the year hmm. and not just on a particular day in the year. 